it's a part of energy union. And this is the first dossier that, that reached agreement with the council and it is part of the energy security package. Vladimir Uruchev, the EPP group's shadow rapporteur for legislation aimed at strengthening the EU's energy union. Quiet deals with Russia and other third parties in the past have caused tension among EU members. The proposed system of data exchange would bring more transparency. It's seen as an important step in creating an effective energy union intended to secure cheaper and greener energy for Europe by coordinating efforts across the EU. This agreement will uh, increase the power of member states to negotiate with third countries in the energy sector, mainly in oil and gas. They will have behind them the political and economic uh, weight of European Union. The legislation would require EU member states to tell the European Commission about intergovernmental agreements, or IGAs, with third countries. The Commission would then check if the IGAs conform with internal energy market legislation and EU competition law, and notify the member state of its opinion within three months. Every intergovernmental agreement will be made available for member states on a special electronic platform. So member states may see what uh, the, the, how other member states negotiated their contracts, uh, what is the, the, the good practice, and they can use that. The member states may negotiate better prices now for the energy they import. The Juncker Commission wants Energy Union to connect EU infrastructures, enforce legislation and boost competition to drive down energy costs for consumers and for businesses. That also includes diversifying energy sources, including more renewables, and uniting EU negotiating efforts to secure better deals. Currently, Russia's Gazprom still provides about one-third of Europe's gas. For member states, this is very helpful because if we take what is now the, the, the situation, everything is made behind the curtain. This regulation will address many issues, mainly in, in Eastern Europe, uh, with relations uh, with um, Russia and, and, uh, and Gazprom. Already in 2013, the Commission ordered several EU member states to renegotiate their bilateral agreements with Gazprom for the South Stream gas pipeline. It said they breached EU law. The new legislation would require more transparency and earlier in the process. This legislation replaces existing rules. It's designed to be more effective in putting an end to secretive energy deals. MEPs hope it will help create an energy union that benefits both consumers and businesses across the EU. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.